What is going on guys? Jason here and I haven't done a news video in a very long time. ETA has been doing such an awesome job, but I wanted to talk to you guys directly this time because frankly, you know, I miss you guys a little bit. But anyways, LaunchBox and Big Box 9.0 is out. And we have more fixes and improvements in this release than pretty much any other past release. I focused heavily on just making the launch box and the big box experiences as smooth as possible. And if you look at the change log, I think it makes it pretty obvious. But it's not just minor things in this release. We have two brand new features, one of which is really a game changer. But let's start with the smaller one. Now this feature has been requested for a very long time. Previously, we did have a cleanup images process that worked great, but we didn't have anything to help clean up the rest of your media, your videos, your manuals, your music. So we've overhauled the cleanup images process, renamed it to cleanup media, and it'll now help you get rid of any extra media in your collection that you're no longer using. Now, I know in my collection, the new process found over 1,200 unused media files, and it saved me nearly five gigs of space. So I think you'll be glad that we added it. But now, for the game changer. If you haven't noticed in this video, Attract Mode has been running in Big Box with playlists underneath each and every platform. As soon as we added the arcade playlists a few versions ago, people fell in love with them and started asking us to add them in for all their platforms. Now this was a major challenge, but we've finally added the fully flexible nested categories in the last release, and we've now added a way to auto-populate and auto-create those playlists for each and every one of your platforms. We've got playlists for genres, play modes, favorites, and even developers and publishers. And once you have this set up in your collection, navigating it just becomes so much more fun because you can find those hidden gems. You can find those multiplayer co-op games. You can find whatever you feel like playing that day without having to look through a list of games that's 10 miles long. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, it's often so daunting to look through all my games on my cab. And so I just end up playing the same games over and over and over again. But this, Man, this has really changed things for me. Having the genres separated out in particular has been wonderful because I can see which games are similar to my favorite games and I'm finally trying out new games and finding new games that I love. Now this new feature is available for everybody, free and premium users alike. Of course, I prefer using BitBox on my cab or in front of my TV, but it works the same way in LaunchBox and you'll get all the new benefits. So that is LaunchBox and BigBox 9.0. I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I want you guys to know that I am still so grateful for everyone and the opportunity to do this as a living for you guys. It's just such a blessing, and I'm still, I'm still loving it, guys. I do want to specifically thank Dragon57 and Retro Humanoid for many of the new clear logos that we're using for the playlist. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. Going forward. We've got some big stuff in the works, guys. We're headed back to the poll items again, of course, and the next big things on the list are startup and pause screens. And I gotta say, I'm super excited about those, more than I thought I would be, but the more I think about it, the cooler those just seem to get in my mind. So stay tuned, and I will talk to you guys soon.